SD Vergada, samahan ninyo kung lutasin ang iba't ibang challenges in the form of puzzles. Pero level 1 pa lang to. Pero parang, oh po, parang kanina pa ako ganun ng ganun. Hindi ko alam kung paano magic ang gagawin ko dito. Expecto Mysterium! Expecto Mysterium! Expecto Mysterium! Ngayong araw, kumasa kami sa isang challenge. Kasama ang DOC Verkada natin na si Naresti Balila, Joram Kit Leonardo, Radio DJ na si Miss P, at ako. Kaya nang kaya namin ang challenge ng Escape Room. So, Mystery Manila started around 9 years ago. Um, it's what's called an escape room. So what happens, you go to our branch, you're locked inside one of the themed mystery rooms for 50 minutes, and you have to solve your way out by figuring out yung mga puzzles and clues. So actually, yung escape room, um, the concept started in Japan because um, they wanted to make real-life versions of yung mga video games that they play. So it started there, but we wanted to be the first to bring it here in the Philippines. Kaya that's why we started Mystery Man. Para matapos ang escape room, kinakailangan namin matapos ang challenge sa loob ng 50 minutes. Hindi pa kami nakakapasok ng kwarto, pero ramdam na ang kaba sa aming mga dibdeb. Sa game na ito, kinakailangan namin matapos ang series of tasks sa pamamagitan ng pagsagot ng mga puzzles. Once you've shown me the correct marks, you have completed the test. Good luck! Wala na kaming pinalampas na oras! Break into the professor's back room. Nasaan yung back room? Back room? Nasaan yung back room? D.O.S. Liverkada, nagtataka siguro kayo kung anong kinalaman nito sa siyensya. Ang pag-solve ng mga puzzles ay hindi lamang simpleng laro dahil malaking parte ng ating katawan ang involved dito, ang ating utak. At sa pamamagitan ng neuroscience, mas maintindihan natin kung paano ito gumana sa tuwing tayo ay naglalaro at nagsosolve ng mga puzzles. So, neuroscience, as the name suggests, is the scientific study of the nervous system. So, it's a broad field. It's a multidisciplinary field that studies the structure, function, and development of our nervous system. For me, my particular interest is in the field of neuropharmacology and molecular neuroscience. So, we are studying the molecular mechanisms of neurological and psychiatric disorders with the ultimate goal of developing better. Si Dr. De La Peña nagtapos ng pharmacology sa Samyuk University sa Seoul, South Korea. At kasalukoy ang katrabaho bilang assistant professor sa University of New Mexico sa Albuquerque, sa Estados Unidos. My journey started in a very rural rural town in Leyte called Kapookan. I grew up there and I went even bachelor's degree there. I got my bachelor's degree in nursing, so I was a registered. So I was actually offered a, a scholarship position in South Korea. So that's where my my whole uh, journey into science. I went to the U.S. after and I did another postdoctoral training for five years in the University of Texas and University of Wisconsin. And then after that, I went home to do a public scientist engagement. And then now I have this new appointment as an assistant professor here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, University of New Mexico. <laughs> Ang ating utak ay maraming regions at bawat isa ay may kanya-kanyang role. A lot of brain regions that are engaged when we are doing problem solving, puzzle solving, playing games like escape room. So, uh, different brain regions are active. Uh, for example, the occipital cortex. So, the occipital cortex is responsible for processing visual information. And then the next is the parietal course cortex, which is responsible for processing information such as touch and spatial awareness. So where am I going to put this piece? So that's the parietal cortex. And also the prefrontal cortex is responsible for planning. 
problem solving, and decision making. Ilan ba sa mga brain regions na active during puzzle solving ay ang temporal lobe? Ito ang responsable para sa memory, recognition patterns, at hearing. Kaya naman Dios ni Barkada, balik muna kami sa challenge. Wish us luck! Pipes! Pipes! Pipes. Pipes. Inside? Inside? Oo. Inside daw. Sinira. Ay! May kabilang rumpa. Ah! Papasok tayo dun. To reset the code. Squeeze. Twice. 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 Ayan. Ayan lang. Yung susi. Okay. Okay. Ay! Double natin. Double natin. Double natin. Double natin. Double natin. Huwag na lang muna natin isara. Okay. Find the pattern shown in the suit. Ito, yung pattern na to. Shown in the suit series in case the corresponding card cards. Okay. Ayan! 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 Ano yung dalawang card? The lovers and the magician. The lovers and the magician. Let's go! Ha! Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Transfiguration. Sa pagbabalik ng expert talk, alamin ko ano mga chemical sa ating katawan na nakakatulong para mag-isip. Iba't ibang brain regions ang gumagana sa tuwing tayo ay nagsusolve ng puzzle. At sa bawat pag-iisip natin, naglalabas ito ng mga chemicals. Playing puzzles is like an intense workout for your brain. And it, it requires several cognitive processes, such as attention, problem solving, memory is very important, visualization, decision making. Ang cognitive process ay ang tawag sa kung paano gumagana ang ating utak. You need attention so that you can focus on the puzzle and ignore the distractions. So you need to engage your problem solving abilities so that you can develop a plan to solve the puzzle. So memory, very important because you need to remember and recall that information like, oh, this shape should go here and then this uh, visualization is the ability to imagine how the puzzle fit together. And of course, decision making and creativity is needed so that you can come up with innovative solutions to solve the problem. So th this cognitive processes are very important in solving puzzles and that's why Solving puzzles is an intense exercise workout. At depende sa puzzle na sinusolve ang cognitive process na magiging prominent sa ating utak. Ganun rin ang brain region na magiging active. So if it's a word puzzle, then more of like processing, uh, language processing, and th that's uh, implicated in a different brain region. So this is specific. I mean, the brain regions and the cognitive processes that are needed to solve a, s a specific puzzle it, uh, is puzzle specific. So it depends on the task at hand, if it's a jigsaw puzzle, if it's more of a escape room type of puzzle. Halimbawa, sa perception, mas active ang ating visual, somatosensory at auditory cortex dahil kailangan mag-process ng sensory information. Sa memory naman, ang ating hippocampus ang responsable sa pag-store ng mga bagong impormasyon. Prefrontal cortex naman ang active sa ating attention, problem solving at reasoning. X, X pen. 650. 650. Eto, C? Pahin natin yung 60. Ano pa ba? May C. Ah, ito meron akong sulat. Halos lahat ng brain regions namin ang nagamit. Pero tuloy lang tayo sa challenge, Dios ni Barkada. In playing puzzles, we need to have variety. So that we can engage all the different parts of the brain, we can—I mean, we can also exercise other areas, and so that there's this workout is more holistic. There are different neurotransmitters that are, you know, very important, uh, or neurochemicals that plays a role in prob problem sol solving. So we have dopamine, we have serotonin norepinephrine and GABA. So these are all major neurotransmitters in the brain. So dopamine is is the one is the reward uh, and motivation neurotransmitter in the brain. So it gives you motivation and reward and learning. 
Serotonin is also a neurotransmitter that is involved in mood, sleep, and ap- appetite. So it is also involved in the feeling of satisfaction when you solve your puzzle. So norepinephrine is the neurotransmitter involved in attention and focus. So very important in solving your puzzles. Ang mga neurochemicals na ito ay nagsasama-sama at nagkakaroon tayo ng rewarding or satisfying feeling sa tuwing tayo nakakapag-solve ng puzzle. Balik ulit tayo sa Game Deal si Verkada. Down to our last task na tayo. Gamit ang aming brain power, kayang kaya to. Moses. Si Moses ba to? Hindi pa natin tulog. Oo nga. Moses of Alexandria. Moses of Alexandria. Moses of Alexandria. Ayun, para may... Mata ba yan? Iskong? Hindi, tinama. Pag ginalaw natin. Tu, uh, yun! Oh okay. Ay, bungo! Ha? Yung amulet yung hinahanap natin. Ang bail! Ayun Ay, yung ano, ayun yung spell na gagawin. Hindi. Oh, oh, sorry! Ayun! Ayun. Okay. May may bail na tayo. Wala, makakasama tayo. Ay, bagla natin kasama to. <laughs> Baka kasama yan. Kasama to? Kasi mag-conjure tayo. Okay, conjuring. Okay. Tapos? Step 2. Step 2. Form a circle around and hold hands. Tapos show the uh, show this spell three times on the top of the of it. Expecto Mysterium. One, two, three, go. Expecto Mysterium. Expecto Mysterium. Expecto Mysterium. Ang gagaling naman natin. guys for <laughs> and the one <laughs> at last mystery solved na mystery solved dito sa experto puzzles comes in different form ilan sa mga halimbawa nito ang kilalang kilala nating jigsaw puzzle crossword puzzles maze at marami pang iba mga DOS TV Arcada, nandito tayo ngayon sa isang concept store sa Green Hills na sikat sa kanilang mga puzzles. Kaya tara, samahan nyo, subukan ang mga ito. Wish me luck. Let's go! Ito ang Run It Dex dito sa Green Hills. Kung saan nag-o-offer sila ng iba't ibang puzzles na may iba't ibang level of difficulty. Makakasama natin ngayon si Sir Jed, ang owner ng Run It Dex, para ipakita sa atin ang ilan sa mga puzzle dito sa kanilang store. So, Sir Jed, ano itong mga puzzle sa harap natin? So, AJ, these are called mechanical puzzles. Mm-hmm. No? Yung iba galing from Japan, yung iba galing from US. So, mm-hmm. the objective of this is to assemble, uh, disassemble muna and then put it back together. Mm-hmm. Uh, nagbavary sila in difficulty. Level 1 is easiest, which is this one. Mm-hmm. Pabalik mo siya sa dati. And meron naman mga hard, like mga level 6. So, just mm-hmm. this. Very tricky siya. Mm-hmm. So, syempre, magsisimula tayo sa level 1. Nagsimula bilang playing cards collector si Sir Jed. At kalaunan, nahilig na rin siya sa mga puzzles. Kaya naman, isa na rin ito sa mga naging highlight na kanyang concept store. At kung pamilyar na sa inyo ang mga puzzles na ito, yan ay dahil madalas nila itong i-post sa kanilang social media. Sige, panorin muna natin Sir Jed. <laughs> Pinasa yun, no? Panorin muna natin Sir Jed, paano po ba siya ginagawa? So, um, ah, okay. first is you have to disassemble this. Okay. Like so. Tapos, ibabalik mo na siya sa dati. Mm-hmm. Ibabalik mo siya sa... Which... Sa dati. Oh. Ah, okay. So, ganito siya. <laughs> Masusubok talaga ang ating ano dito. So, we started this. Uh, actually, nalaman ko na to noong uh, 2020. And... Um, During the pandemic, no lockdown lahat, so everybody is in their house, isolated. So I chance upon this puzzles, no. So parang inisip ko, it's something na pwede mo ng gawin while you're um while while on lockdown. Na pwede mo ng gawin na ikaw lang magisa. You don't need, kasi lahat tayo isolate, self isolated, de ba? So ganto lang palang siya, parang level one yah. Ayon, tama. Kinabahan, kinabahan na parang hindi. Parang level one parang di na opa pasat. Sa bawat puzzles na atin nasasagutan, naglalabas ang ating utak ng iba't ibang neurochemicals na nagbibigay sa atin ng motivation at satisfaction. At sa bawat level ng ating natatapos, mas nagkakaroon ng training ang ating utak. All of these neurochemicals, uh, they have an effect, they have different effects on the person and of course on on the activity being done. So, not all people 
will enjoy doing puzzles. More people will enjoy like watching TV over doing puzzles or doing physical exercise, right? So uh, it would depend on what the peop uh, what the person would uh, feel like th they are interested with, and that is when their dopamine when their dopamine is released, and that's what is making them feel go feel good. Marami sa mga puzzles na nandito sa Run It Dex ang tinatawag ng mechanical puzzle. Kumpara sa traditional na jigsaw puzzle, binubu ito ng mga moving parts, kagaya nitong cast loop puzzle. It's mm -hmm. also a level one puzzle, quite tricky rin. So you have to disassemble first, sige, completely, and then remove okay. it, and then put it back. Ayo. Gusto ko lang sabihin na level one, let's go. <laughs> Susunod, mas ili-level up pa natin ang mga puzzles na isusol. Marami na rin pinagdaanan ang karir ni Dr. De La Peña. At alam nyo ba, miyembro rin siya ng National Research Council of the Philippines o DOST NRCP. At naging parte rin siya ng ating programa, Ang Balik Scientist. So, as, as a Balik Scientist, you are, ha you are under a special provision and you will be added to the uh, roster of uh, researchers in the country and then you will become a member of NRCP. So uh, I registered NRCP as an expert on particular fields such as neuroscience, neuropharmacology, and yeah, it's quite uh, surprising to know that there are very few experts on this field in the in the Philippines. Karamihan sa mga mechanical puzzles na nandito sa Ranit Dex, ginagamitan ng visual perception, memory, at motor skills. At ang responsabling region ng ating utak dito ang ating occipital cortex, hippocampus, at cerebellum. Kayanin ka ng brain regions ko ang mas mataas na level ng puzzles dito sa Ranit Dex? We take it a bit higher, no? This is a level 4 puzzle. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, kung papapansin mo, wala siyang moving parts. Oo nga So, paano po siya? Tatanggalin ko dapat. Yes, there are two pieces dyan sa puzzle na yan. So, you have to separate them and put them back together. Doesn't require, <laughs> it doesn't have any moving parts. Okay. No? So, malolos ka talaga. The, the, solve of, the solution of this is twisting it and you'll open it. Kasi sa loob mm -hmm. yan, meron magnets. Ah. Meron siyang mga meron siyang mga pegs, mm -hmm. metal pegs that locks this in place. Mm -hmm. It's probably among this, this is the hardest. This ah. is the egg secret box. Mm -hmm. And there's a hidden small compartment inside. So okay. you have to open this. So nakakrack po to. Pag nasira ko po to. <laughs> Age does have an effect in brain activity during puzzle, so, uh, puzzle solving. So in general, uh, older people, older adults have less brain activity and less uh, neuroplasticity because uh, this is a, the, the neurobiological mechanism is called neuroplasticity. Ang neuroplasticity ay tumutukoy sa abilidad ng ating utak na mag-adopt, maging flexible at magbago. At sa ating pagtanda, Unti-unti itong humihina. Kaya importante na lagi magkaroon ng brain exercise upang mapanatili ito. So, young people, they're more active and they're more plastic. Their brain are more, are more uh, they can do a lot of changes with the stimuli. So, that's why they can solve puzzles more. They can find other passions like uh, and all of that. Uh, but uh, as we age, this neuroplasticity declines. So, but it doesn't mean that uh, we shouldn't do puzzles. Actually, puzzle is a very good activity for older people because it's less physically intensive. Napakalawak ng mga bagay na pwedeng pag-aralan sa mundo ng siyensya. Kagaya na lang na ating utak na hanggang ngayon ay misteryo pa rin para sa ating mga certified experts. Pero sa patuloy na pag-aaral nila, unti-unti nating mahahanap ang sagot. 
So last year and early this year, I served as a Balik scientist under the DOST. So I choose to serve my home region, which is the Eastern Visayas region. Uh, so what I did is I promoted neuroscience research because it was a short-term engagement. I promoted neuroscience research and established a framework for building the first neuropharmacology laboratory. So I hope that uh, all other scientists, Filipino scientists all over the world, you should try considering doing a Balik Scientist engagement. It's a wonderful program and you can, you know, hopefully build something that towards the development of research in the Philippines. young people in the Philippines and you know I invite you if you're interested in, in doing research especially neuroscience research to go into this very exciting field everything is unknown and you, you you're the one who need to pave your way you're the one who need to who will ask your questions and there are a lot of opportunities again this is a very a rapidly growing field and there are a lot of opportunities and careers for uh, aspiring neuroscientists sa larangan ng agham teknolohiya at inobasyon marami ang pwedeng itanong kaya naman sama-sama nating hanapin at isolve ang mga kasagutan mula sa mga certified expert ng bansa. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, ako si AJ Castro at ito ang Expert Talk.